Rita. Okay, so last time we discussed like a section for F1. So in that we covered all this object creations and all. How we will do this object creations, constructor call, parameters, non parameters and all. Now I'm going to discuss section for F2. So there also we will discuss and revise this previous things of constructor, parameterized constructor, argument, uh, non-constructors, default constructors and all and our object created and all will happen. So here we have a two class. So inside the two class, first class we have a constructor, parameterized constructor and yes, B class will have a non-parameterized constructor. And we are extending this class A. So while we extend all this information will be coming to the class B also. So here parameterized constructor will come inside this class B and then main method will call. So once we main, main method will call here we are calling creating an object and calling this parameterized ob constructor based on this. So parameterized constructor of this class A. So based on this class A, A1 A equal to new A. So A1 this a int will be called after that we have a so this dash will be there and after that pb we are equal to new b so for this b1 new b is there while we have a new b so in that case what will happen uh, there will be some error in this b constructor why because of see implicit super u constructor a is undefined must explicitly invoke another constructor so while we can invoke from the another constructor we should mention either super so the supers will invoke immediate parent class of constructor semi so that is not there so you will get a compile time error implicit super constructor a a constructor is undefined must explicitly invoke another constructor so if you run this for you have you will not able to run because of compile time error will happen and the same error will be there so we need to implicit super constructor aa equal to this now we'll go for the next so here we have a multiple class is there class c have parameterized constructor class d have non parameter also parameterized constructor and they are doing some super j so this super we have a j means of the parameterized constructor which will be called so that will take from the class c because we are extending uh, with the class c and we are calling inside this parameterized constructor again some parameterized constructor from the class c then we have non parameterized constructor inside that also we are calling some parameterized constructor so we can call from non parameterized to parameterized parameterized to non parameterized by using supers on this so supers will work on the immediate parent class of construct parent class or this will be work in the same class so if you go here the main method we are creating object of class c so once you run the class c so the class c object has created and we are creating object of parameterized so the parameterized constructor will call from the object class uh, class C and then we again we are calling for this class D so D object and created and parameterized constructor we are calling so for this class D parameterized constructor this one here super dot J I mean super dot J means this is the super of J so this will be called from this integer type of because J is in type so super of integer type of things will be called from the immediate super keyword means super keyword means immediate class and after that we'll have a again new object cases has happened so dd equal to new d which is non-parameterized object so non-parameterized constructor will call here 
and in that we have a super and this is some integer type of parameterized constructor for that we call this class C int so this will be the output of C int C int T int C int and D like this then we have class E class E have E dot Java have class A class P class C and class T1 and also have class E class F and all so in that cases what is happening class A have a static block class B have a static block class C also have a static block class D have main method inside that object has created of the class B and they are doing some SOP class C also have main method so in a single class we can declare multiple class inside that and also in multiple class some of the class we can use main method some of the class we can declare a static block some of the class we can declare any uh, constructors parameters and all so it depends on the requirement you can do that there's no issue while running you have to mention the proper class name so that class will be done so here d1 e and f have a main method so we have a multiple main methods as created in the different class so in d1 we are creating object of b b1 equal to new b and here class e e1 equal to c c1 equal to new c and then f we are calling a object so a a1 equal to new so a a1 will call from the class a because object created happened from this class a so this static method will be called once the classes is loaded this static method will be called and once the classes will be loaded for the e so c c1 equal to new c will be called as for that c class of object has created means they are extending from the b also so that b also static will be called and this static also will be called so if you will run this program for this see a s i b b s i b and done oh. no it's not running because of we need to select the particular class which class you have to run this so once you run this class then you will be able to get the output so if you am running c cla e class so e class will have a c object creation so c object creation means uh, this static will be called and they are extending a means this static also will be called means a s i b b s i b and then c class so e class will have a done so this will be the output of e class if you run for f then according to that f, f output will become now we have a f so inside this f we have non parameterized constructor parameterized constructor inside this f non parameterized constructor non parameterized constructor and parameterized constructor then main method so main method E E one equal to new E two E E two E two equal to new E two F F one equal to new F and F F two equal to new. So this all. So once we run this program, then once we created the class E, then E E object will be created. Created for this, the so default argument will be called, and then this. Then E two created so parameterized argument will be called then f1 equal to created the non parameterized argument and then f2 equal to parameterized so based on that output will come but you have to run either class f2 or either class of e2 so like that we have a multiple uh, constructors declarations are there in different different way class g have parameterized non parameterized then class h extend g and class h uh, have non parameterized parameters so non parameter is having super so based on the supers they are calling this one and after that main method so in main method h h1 equal to new h h2 equal to new h so default non parameterized and parameterized then parameterized g1 and then non parameters g so these things so because of h we have a two things one is class G and class H. So once you run this class H, so the main method is there, so you will get the output of that.
if you run here class it so g int h g g so we have four object creation so four type of output we got like that we have a class i class i have constructor then class i have iib instance initialization block means non-static block and then parameterize constructor again and then again we have a some parameterized constructor double time there have non parameterized this call and then we have a main method so this main method these things are there i object new object then 89 then 79 this so this i if you run this program so what will happen static will be called at the time of class load once the object has created all the iip will be called so suppose if you are creating multiple objects then multiple IP will be called and then constructor will be improved so for this non argument constructor will call for this no argument constructor will call and for this object argument constructor IIB will be called so either if you are using this or suppose that also will be called based on the requirement so in this class J we have class G3 class these three have constructor IIS non static block and then a static block then class S3 have constructor static non static block and then class 5 have constructor static non static blocks and class J have main method main method they are creating an object and calling based on the reference and class K also they are creating a main of object for the main method and then class L there also have main method in calling the object and uh, creating object and calling with the reference so based on that uh, class suppose if you have multiple class so you need to run particular any other class of any one class and then you will get a output according to that because inside this class we have multiple class declarations and main method is there so you need to run at least one class and you have to get the output for that now class k inside that j is there j4 class and this is non parameterized constructor then we have a class j4 extend class k4 extend j4 and then k4 is a non parameterized constructor then main method so non parameterized constructor having SOP and then super so here we are getting some compile time error why because of super always should be the first statement in the const in a constructor so it should not be a last statement and all so you will get a compile time error you won't be able to run constructor must be the first statement in the class in a constructor so always this and super should be the first statement here also what we have class l have non-argument constructor and the super is the first statement but this they use in this last statement so this also having issue why because of this should be the first statement constructor call must be first statement in the constructor so whatever the constructor call this and super is used to call a constructor from this will be called from the current class and super will call the parent class so for this this these two should be the first statement so you will get a compile time error for this now class n so class n have m and all so m we have a non argument constructor argument constructor then iib and then again argument constructor so in argument constructor we have this argument constructor and then class n have non argument constructor then iib and then parameter first then first uh, argument constructor again the argument constructor but they are calling some super after that we have a main method so in this main method we have 89 32 7 then this so 89 means parameter will be called 32 7 means two parameter will call and means default constructor will call 67 means one parameter constructor will call and this means 7.8 means one parameter double constructor will call this is integer and this is double 
so like that we have to run this program and then class o next is class p so in this class p we have a o class o we have a constructor then iib then we have a constructor class p extend o and then in that also we have a parameterized constructor then iib so once you extend the class o so we have a constructor parameterized constructor non parameterized constructor into iib so based on the object we will get the based on the object response the reference we will call once we create object then all iib will be called so o o1 equal to new o so based on the o1 we will get and p p1 equal to new means o o new o will be called and p new 67 means argument constructor will be called so before argument constructor all iib will be executed and all So this is class Q, class Q have constructor and then IIB, then static, then parameterized constructor. Here we are getting some compile time error why because of class N extend M but N is a constructor and N is a constructor but is N. And we are getting this one implicit super constructor M1. M is undefined, must be explicitly invoked to another constructor. So, what we are doing, we are extending the M. So, in that M, we are extending the M. So, in that M, what will happen? M, in, we are not calling this implicitly. So, this we have to call super dot super m super m super non parameterized constructor then only that will be extendable because while we calling from one class to another class in that whatever the constructor we will call we need to do the implicit super keyword by using that only we will do so we will get a compile time error there then we have a class q6 so in this class q6 having the constructor IAV class R F constructor IAV class S S parameterized constructor IAV. So based on that, we have to run S S one equal to new S R R one equal to new R Q Q one equal to new Q. So based on that, call object JSON reference. We will get answers. So this is a T class T, and this is a T constructor. This is a IAV first i will second and constructor then u u and then b have b is also using this so like that we will complete the constructor part what is parameterized constructor what is non parameterized constructor what is this what is super how we will create an object and how what is a static block what is non static block what all are the variables and uh, non static means instance means license block and so this part we completed till sections 4 f2 is completed now we'll go for the section 5 so in this section 5 mostly we will cover like how we can call a different class inside this b class or inside the declared class suppose i'm in the class a or class b now i want to call in a single package we have a multiple class are there so i want to call different class from this same package so directly how we will call based on the class name or reference you can call suppose you created a object for that class now you will take a reference you will call the particular class variables and all so here this is the example so inside that we have a package so package and then we have a class class b class b integer i this is a non static variable now we have a main method so in this main method what we have a a1 equal to new a is there so object created from the class a so this class a means class a has defined somewhere 
in the same package either somewhere inside this pack or maybe in the different structures of the same package so class a is already there class a equal to new a now we need to take a reference of a1 dot i so once you will take this so the i value will come from this class a not from the class b by i but here we are getting some compile time error why because of see multiple mark markers at this line a cannot be resolved to a type Print C and then this is the class C. Class C have this package and then inside the class C extending the class B means class B will be extended. So all the properties will come from the class B to class C, the main method. Now we are calling this C C1 equal to new C and C1 dot I. But we don't have any I information inside the class C. So what will happen? So if we'll run this program here. So here i c dot i value is zero, but we don't have any static non-static variables. So variables will come from the class B. Class B have int i is there. So this int i is a non-static, but we are calling based on the object creation. So object created of the class C, and then C the one dot i we are calling the C one dot i means B extending B one B. So B class have int i, so that int i has extended there in the class C. This is non-static, so based on the class reference, we will call the non-static variable. So output will be the zero. Now here package Lara, so package Lara having this section five app, and then we have a class C. So class C is already defined. Why? Because of we somewhere we have already defined in this section 5 so that's why it's showing uh, the class C is already defined so we need to change the class name and then again A is also already defined so A cannot be resolved to a type so in this program either you have to change the class name a different class name so here class C extend the class A inside this main method they are calling this reference so they created object of class C so class C is this one class and based on the reference we can call already we seen so here what will happen class D extend C class D extend C means main method is there in main method class D D1 equal to new D and D1 dot I means they are extending C class so in this C class also nothing is there but they are extending B class so B class have non static variables is there that is calling in the C and then C D class is calling from the C class so if you run this program you will get a sum i equal to 0 This is class F. E class E have main method in method A equal to new A and then C C equal to new C D D equal to new D. So here what will happen? Multiple markup at this line. A cannot be resolved to a type. A cannot be resolved to a here 
class f we have a non static test method is there that declare class g have also object created and then f f equal to new f f1 dot test one f1 dot test one means this non static will call from this f class so why because of we created a class f inside the same package we are calling anywhere or we can create anywhere in the object of any class so once we created object of any class inside anywhere of the same package then based on the reference we can take so i we created a class object of class f and based on the reference we will call this test so the same here like a class h class h extend f here main method inside main method h is equal to new h h1 dot test so this test this test method will be called from this h but h is there is no test method so this will go for the f because f has extended so f will have some test method so this test method will be called class i extend h so inside this i we are creating object kya hai ye kiska usme to nahi hoga shayad usme nahi tha koi nahi bar ka wala mix to bahu wala de do no is nahi bahu wala nahi asar padega bahut kam power ka hai acha तो सब उधर होगा घर में आके हो गया हमारा खत्म हो गया लग जल्दी कर रहे हैं so here what we are doing i i equal to new i created and i1 dot test we are calling so test is i not there inside this i so they are extending h so h should have quite h also there is no test so that it's extending f so f will have a test so that test method will call inside this i and based on the reference they can call in non static test method has been called in the static then this is class class j sub main method so we have f equal to new f one dot test h is equal to new h one dot test has created and i i equal to new the test has been created so three three type of object has been created and based on the references they class n have non static variables this is non static variable declare so like that this is a packaging concept so packaging concept means java package uh, if you declare particular package so here we have a package right so once you declare a package and inside this package anywhere of any class is available so you can directly call any class from any other classes if if all the classes have same package so here section 5 dot lara have a package inside that whatever the classes will be there we can access inside the passes anywhere anywhere inside the class we can extend and based on the reference or directly we will create a object for that particular class and based on the reference we will call all the variable constructors and all so this is a packaging if you will go for this package so for this theoretical part uh, here if we'll go for the package what is java package so this java package is a group of similar type of classes or interface and sub package 
so it's a group like we created one package so this is a group of uh, similar type of classes means many classes will be there or interfaces will be there or sub package will be there so a uh, package in java can be categorized in two way like one is a built-in package the other is user defined package so buildings package means like uh, we have java.lan java is there lan is there awt is there java x is there swing is there many things are there so these all are defined by this uh, java team so uh, like uh, in build package we can say and user defined means we have to define the package like com dot particular company you are working or in dot your name like com dot amar dot users dot like this so whatever the users will be defined so that package will be there inside this package many classes we can add or many interfaces or subclasses or others so while we declare a package so inside see inside we can have a multiple classes will be there so suppose it's java package have some package we defined so java have some land package java have some util package java have some U awt package so this is a java package and sub package means some after this again some package will be there after that we have some classes will be there so that sub classes we can because all are the part of java so this java package all are the part of these classes so either in system classes we can use a string classes based on the java reference we will create an object of java and based on the java reference we will call this a string class to the system classes or array list class to the string classes and all so we have to extend this particular class or we have to import the package so this is a package declarations in every examples we seen a package declaration we already using So here this is the example of package so see suppose we have a pack one package is pack and other is package is my pack and what we are doing here we are importing this import pack pack is the package which have class a so if i want to access my pack is a package inside i want to access the class a so how we will use so for that for that we have a pack see the your uh, new pages i can see only the section five okay 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 i'll save my again are you able to see my screen now yeah okay so we are discussing because new topic is related for java package so for that java package how what is the java package when to use and what is uh, how we will create a package and all so we already are creating in all the program whatever the program we discuss are you able to see my id now yes okay so here like uh, we have declared multiple section it's a package section one app one so this section one is a package so inside this section one is this package have also app one so this is sub package so section one dot app one dot some classes name a so a p so these all are the part of which package section one dot app one package so sex one uh, section one is a package and app one is a sub package inside that multiple dot java file is there so if you are calling from a java file class a have some main method inside that we need to call some b b variables or in b variable we need to call from a variables detail or any method or any constructors and all so what you have inside that package whatever the information will be there anywhere we can access inside the package based on the reference only once you have to create an object based on the reference we will call or also based on the class name also so see here suppose class b is there inside the class b we have integer i is there so this is non-static variable declare now what we are doing we are calling here a 
so we have created a object and that a is available somewhere inside the class inside this this package the x section 5 dot lara so somewhere this a class is available and for that i want to call a dot i from there not inside the b class so what will happen we have to create an object for the particular class and based on the reference whatever if i is declared there that is non static variables then with a dot i you have to call so once you will call this the default output will come from this class a not for this line number four so for that purpose we are de showing here some theoretic theoretical uh, part like what is java package so java package the group of similar type of class interface and sub package so java package can be used to categorize in two things one is built-in package another is user defined package so built-in package is already defined by this java team like a java lan awt and all but the user defined package means whatever we created here so inside that what we created like section 5 section 4 dot app 2 so these all are the user defined i have created on package name so and how to use this package so mostly uh, we will see in the program and these all are the examples are there uh, if you want to access suppose this is a class a is there so this class class a have pack means this is the package pack pack is there so once package class a is available now we have class b class b is in different package my pack now what is class b inside that class b i want to access class a so what you have to do you have to create the object of class a but once because these two has different packages one is my pack another is pack so inside the class you want to access the class a inside the class b so you need to import the package suppose if different package is there then you have to import the package inside the class b and then you have to create the object if same package is there then you have to check either same package yes same package is available and this class is available so directly you can uh, if a class is available in the same package then directly you have to create the object and based on the reference you have to call any type of method constructors variables anything you can call so this is the package things like how we will use the package you know so in section 5 this is the package suppose this is the package so here the package name is section 5 dot lara 1 this is the package name and inside that we have a main one class class a and in that class we have three things is there integer i protected int i j and public int k so here what we are doing we are also uh, declare some of the accessifier like public this is this variable is a non-static variable and this have public type this int j is a non-static variable this is protected type and this int is a default type so what is public what is private what is default so that also we will see here public private protected in java access modi modifier we can say what all are the access modifier is there any any of the website you can go but mostly i told uh, tutorials point or java t point you can go for this theoretical part but see here there are type of access modifiers in java one is default one is private one is protected another is public there are four types there so in this program they we use three types one is default we use public we use protected we use some of the cases we can use private so this is a private so we have a public private protected and this if you have not defined anything it should be default default accessifier so where question is like when to use public when to use private when to use 
default and when to use protected so see default no keyword request if nothing is there then it should be default by default so while we are creating any variables or any methods in that time we are showing here private default protected and uh, public so these all are the access modifier which is present in java and when to use and why we are using we will discuss in the program and this is the package so package we are de declaring inside that numbers of classes constructors as well, all will be there so suppose if you are calling in a same package any class directly you can create object and call but if you have different different package and you want to call in a different package in other package class so for that you have to import so how you will import like this is a import based on the import you have to mention p1 dot star means all the classes of package p1 uh, we will import in the class p2 means sorry package p2 now you can use any type of p1 dot class or p1 package or p1 class details you have to create the object and then directly you based on the reference you can call so we will see here in this programming when to use uh, private protected defaults and all basic things is private access only in the same class not in the outside of class same class anywhere we can access private protected in this parent to child class like subclass of the child class and public we can access anywhere public we can access anywhere and default will be accessed anywhere inside the same package not in outside the pack package so that's why we use see, protected protected access file specifying using a keyword of protected and this method or data member declare as a protected and accessible within the same package and subclasses with the different package same package and also we have a subclasses in different package suppose if you have different package inside subclasses we can use the protected as a file so these all are the things are there public private protected default so these all are the declaration for the variables now we will go for this so this is the package and this is the class here we have a main method so inside the main method we declare object of a this but this is the class b so we need to check either this a is available inside this package of section 5 lara 1 yeah section 5 lara 1 section 5 lara 1 is available yeah section 5 lara 1 a is available yeah that is fine so inside that we are creating object from other another class of a class object we are creating why because of same package the same class is there class a is available in the same package so no issue in any other class directly we can create an object if same package is there because in a class also have section 5 lara 1 and b class also have packages section 5 lara 1 so while we create an object just create a class name reference new a and now based on the reference we will call here so while we call we have to also check the accessifier so if private accessifier will be there so that it, it won't call in the other class because this is access only in the same class not in the outside of class so if we'll declare here that variable a1 dot this variable name a1 dot km so that won't work why because of this is private so always accessible inside the class a not outside of any class on any any class but others is 
default default can be accessed inside the package anywhere of the class so this is default will be accessible protected is also inside the package or outside of any sub classes will be accessible and public will be anywhere will be access so so that's why we have declared this accessifier and we are calling i j k then we have a the same we have a class class c class c we are extending a class a we can extend so once extend the class a all the a a details will come inside the class c so what we are doing we are creating an object of class c and based on the reference we are calling this ijk but c does not have any variables non static variable or static variable but they are extending the a so a should have this ijk ijk is there means these all are the non static variables so we are calling inside the class c how because of we extended either if you are extending the class a that also will be fine if we are doing this our direct object creation and class a we are calling based on the reference that is also fine and then this is a class d so class d they are extending class c so class c once we extend it this then what will happen whatever the class c information which will be import in this class d also so class c have nothing is there they are extending class a again it will go for the compiler it will go for the class a class a have these four variables so that four variables will come in this class c from a to c and c to d so because they are extending so this extension has happening and then what they are doing they are creating a object of class d and then based on the reference they are calling see this is class a class e and in class e what will happen we have a pack same package inside this package inside this package we have a multiple class object has created like a class object has created b class of c class object has created and d class object so we need to check either in the same package these all are there yes is there a is there c is there and then d also is there so if any one is there then directly we can access by using extend or also based on the object created we need to create an object and based on the reference we will call all the variables from anywhere so we should also have to check this accessifier if private will be there then same class will be accessible if default will be there then inside the package anywhere we can accessible if protected is there means inside this package and or uh, we can access and outside of sub package if public is there means anywhere will be accessible so like that uh, will be access uh, modifiers will work and then we have a other so here we we seen overview of package what is package when to use package what all are the access accessifier is there so uh, next we will cover here all the accessifier how we will use suppose if we declare a private here this this variable is private so this will be accessible in this class based on the object reference or uh, because this is non static so we created an object and based on the reference we created that is fine this this class b class b have a private int i see here the class b have private int i is declared now class c have main method and they are creating object of class b because inside the same package two classes are there that is fine but main method is available in the class c and here we are creating an object of class b that is fine so fine means b based on the b1 reference we will call all the non static variable but this should won't work why because of 
क्लास भी है प्राइवेट सो प्राइवेट एनली एक्सेसिबल इन इन साइड दिस सेम क्लास ऑफ प्राइवेट इफ यू हैव डिक्लेयर एनी वेरिएबल्स एज अ प्राइवेट और स्टेटिक वेरिएबल्स इज अ प्राइवेट और स्टेटिक वेरिएबल इज अ प्राइवेट मीन्स इट शुड बी एक्सेसिबल ओनली इन द सेम क्लास बट वॉट यू आर डूइंग यू आर क्रिएटिंग यू क्रिएटेड वन अदर क्लास एंड यू हैव क्रिएटेड ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ दिस बी क्लास नाउ यू आर टेकिंग बेस्ट ऑन द रेफरेंस ऑफ दिस आई सो आई विल हैव अ एर आर वाई बिकॉज ऑफ दिस इज नॉट विजिबल दिस फील्ड इज नॉट बी डॉट आई इज नॉट विजिबल वाई बिकॉज बी डॉट आई इज प्राइवेट टाइप मीन्स इट शुड बी विजिबल इन साइड द क्लास नॉट आउट साइड द क्लास सो इन सी दिस इन साइड दिस सी दिस इज अ प्राइवेट सो प्राइवेट प्रोटेक्टेड पब्लिक प्राइवेट प्रोटेक्टेड डिफॉल्ट वी कैन यूज इन वेरिएबल्स वी कैन यूज इन मैथड वी कैन यूज इन वी कैन यूज इन मैथड वेरिएबल्स और एनी वेयर लाइक या वी कैन यूज इन मैथड एंड वेरिएबल्स सो सपोज दिस इज मैथड एंड दिस ऑल्सो हैज अ प्राइवेट टाइप राइट सो and this is in class d but what we are doing we are creating inside this class e d object and there we are trying to test but this is not visible because this is private so inside the class f there is some error we will resolve but uh, this inside the class f we have a private static this this is a static variable so either we can create a non static static any type of variables but visuals we can declare just a minute rina 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 so here this is a static variable so this is static variable also have visible as a private and this is a method so this method is also a static method but if you have not defined anything but it is this is a default method so this is default method so visible is default here but in this class c we are calling f dot i f dot i means this variables so f dot i is a private type so we will not get a any output because private static will be loaded on the class time but this is a private so the same class will work not in outside of class so here this is the class as inside private is there this void test is default because if you are not providing any accessifier means it is default so this is a default and then <coughs> here main method inside this main method h h1 equal to new h we created so new h h1 dot get method so we call get method so this is also this method is a in get uh, default method is there integer type so we have written but this is default so while we default uh, then we can access inside this package anywhere so no issues for that and this is a is one dot set is equal to this 90 so they set h1 uh, dot set is a method they are setting this 90 of int k and then i equal to k means the k value is same as i value and then h1 dot get like this so these things tomorrow we will discuss this uh, section 5 from starting again what is the accessifier uh, use and when to use accessifier what is the package how we will declare a package when to call a package and all so these things tomorrow we will discuss till till now you can cover all those
sections 5 lada 1 till now this package so and all tomorrow we will discuss this package and SSC fire details so these all are the program we will cover tomorrow from section 5 from B to B and here we will declare or we will see all those import package and then accessy files and all private public protected defaults and all okay then here we are closing uh, thank you everyone please revise this all topic so that we will go for that next topic and almost co java part has complete half and part is completed we will see tomorrow what all are or all are pending that we will discuss or we will create a topic for that thank you yeah. thank you thank you everyone